Hi everybody and welcome to our week number three Twitch live stream for my intro psych uh, online class. I hope everyone is doing well and enjoying our uh, <laughs> our warm summer weather. I don't know, it's been uh, a little odd for our weather <laughs> to say the least. It kind of feels uh, like we're in winter rather than summer. But uh, thank you so much for, for joining me on here. Can everyone hear me and see me okay? Can someone let me know in the chat if you can hear and see me just fine before I keep going. Perfect. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, um, we'll do our kind of usual stuff this week. We're in week number three, which means we are past the halfway point of our short four week class that we have together. So we'll take a quick look at some feedback from last week. We'll look at the reminders that we have for this week, including a couple of discussions and our exam and so on. Uh, and then of course I will end with the Twitch extra credit question and seeing if you have any questions for me. So uh, let's go ahead and get over to Canvas together. And uh, I hope again everyone is hanging in there and doing well. It's uh, it's June, right? Uh, last I saw you, I think it was May, right? Uh, it's June officially now. I leave for Hawaii tomorrow, so I'm very excited about that. I'm going to Oahu for like five or six days, so super exciting. It's definitely a little warmer there than it is here, so hopefully that will be fun. I imagine I will be very sunburned the next time I see you, since I have a uh, I have literally gotten no sunshine here <laughs> since there's no sun. It's so cloudy. So um, yeah, next time. I see you. I might be bright red. <laughs> you can go ahead and laugh at me. That's totally fine. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. I really hope it's a, a fun trip. It's a long flight, so I'm not looking forward to that with three little kids. But otherwise, I'm very excited about that. Uh, anyway, I could ramble about that and, and food and football and all those things for way too long. I'll, I'll focus back in. But uh, we are, as I said, right here, week number three. So past the halfway point, uh, a quick couple of pieces of feedback about last week. So for the most part, um, again, really, really nicely done. I wrote this down here in, um, in my comments, but the average test time for exam number two was about 63 minutes. The average score was an 89%, so just a little bit higher than the last exam, which I think is fantastic. A lot of you did really, really nicely on exam number two. There have been a lot of A's on the exams. Uh, I'm thinking a lot of you are doing a great job studying, and it's really showing in your grades. So continue to use those as a learning opportunity, but a lot of you should be patting yourselves on the back and feeling really good about your scores in the class so far. Uh, again, we're halfway through, and if you like what you have as a grade now, keep doing the same thing. If you wish you had done a little bit differently or a little bit better, now is still a good time to change things up and study differently or kind of a, a approach the exam a little bit differently for this week. But for the most part, again, a lot of you are doing a fantastic job. Oh, somebody wrote my flight to Noro was 17 hours. Oh my gosh, 17 hours. I'm dreading six hours. 17 is a very long uh, time of recovering from surgery. Ay, right, uh, that's not fun either, right? Those are both uh, miserable in their in their own way. At least Norway hopefully was fun when you got there. And hopefully once the surgery and everything heals, it will be better as well. So uh, the other thing really quickly last week, discussions three and four, just to give you a little bit of uh, feedback um, about those. And I always send out an email on Monday night with some kind of general comments. But with the one about dreams, uh, I really enjoyed reading your dreams. Thank you. Uh, nobody shared one about me, so that is a win in my book. <laughs> uh, but very uh, nicely done for the most part. Uh, the biggest place people lost points was really not giving me enough about the dream theories. I was looking to see that you could take a dream theory and connect it to your dream, but you had to explain the theory a little bit as well. And um, that was the biggest spot that I saw people losing points. Um, on the other discussion that we had for last week related to memory, which was discussion number four, for that one, um, again, really nicely done. Uh, thankfully, all of you don't actually have to memorize that 28-digit sequence. Uh, my students who take this with me in person have to memorize it and probably hold on to it way longer than they would like. Uh, but I enjoyed your little stories and like songs and, and rhythms and, and things that you put that to. And if you were to actually hold on to it, those things would be really, really helpful. Great little tips for how you would uh, study for exams and your personal tips for memory. A lot of you um, suggesting little apps and writing things down, which is fantastic. 
Biggest reason people lost points was not giving me different uh, approaches for seconds versus days. So some of you said, oh, if I had to memorize it, I would use chunking. And then you didn't give me a different approach for if you had to hold on to it longer. That was the number one reason. There were also a few people who still aren't replying to a classmate. Don't forget that you have to not only answer my questions, but reply to a classmate as well. And that's only worth two points but it is a very easy two points and you wanna make sure that you are getting those on each one of the discussions. So again, overall, on the first four discussions that we've done, really, really nicely done for the most part, a lot of you seem to kind of have gotten down what I'm looking for and have done a great job with that. Again, we talked about the exam. The only other thing um, from last week, there was a little self-assessment and I appreciate a lot of you seem to be very honest. Um, the answers were kind of all over the board. Most of you saying you're feeling pretty good about things so far. I saw a couple of people um, kind of looking at some things that they might do differently as they move into the second half of the class. But thank you for sharing. Um, you will be doing one more of those this week. Uh, just kind of, again, checking in and reflecting on your progress for the class. Uh, but otherwise, let's move on from week number two unless there are any are there any questions or comments or thoughts anything from last week before we move on to this week anything at all from week number number two computer issues somebody said you know, always right there's always some kind of computer issue um, no questions that's good all right, and um, if you think of anything, of course, feel free to put it in the chat. Um, otherwise, what we do is we move on to week number three. And this week, we're looking at some very kind of core topics for psychology. We're looking at motivation, emotion, human development, and personality. So four very, very kind of core topics for this intro psych class. So chapter nine, chapter 10, 11, and 12. So as usual, you have four chapters. And again, uh, because it's such a short class, we're cramming a lot into each week. So make sure that you read the ebook for chapter nine and then read through the lecture and then watch the lecture video. Remember, you're doing three things for each chapter reading the ebook, watching and reading through the lecture, and then watching the lecture video. So the lecture, for example, for motivation, remember that each one of these is that five page format with the first page being objectives and summary, and you can listen to it if you would rather. I don't know if any of you listened to it. I, I did record them all um, just in case you wanted the audio. On the second page beyond the book, there's little uh, motivational theories about survival instincts and then fad diets in pop culture for this one not as much here but some stuff um, some documentaries and movies and tv shows related to motivation and weight loss and survival the fourth page is always the key terms that you need to know from that chapter and then finally on the last page some application this one being about losing weight and getting help for eating disorders so uh, remember if i give you videos watch them if there's any links explore them all of those things together are going to help give you like a good understanding of the materials and you'll want to do that for each chapter right so chapter 9 do all three 10 all three 11 all three and 12 all three um, and hopefully together that gives you a really good picture Oh, good, Sarah. I'm glad you listened to the audio. That's great. Hey, you missed the sound of my voice, right? That's what it is. <laughs> That's fantastic. Uh, I, I wish that uh, you could download them in a different way, but it's, it's sometimes it's nice not to have to read all that text on the page. So I'm glad at least a couple of you are, are listening to them. That's great. So once you have done all of your reading and you've gone through all your lectures and lecture videos and so on, uh, two discussions for this week. So let's take a look at those. Discussion number five um, that you have, as always, you have my instructions at the top uh, with a little brief introduction video. Uh, remember to think of these as like little mini papers. Give me like at least a paragraph for each um, you know question that I'm answering or asking of you. There were 15 points, 13 for your responses to mine, and then two for your responses to a classmate. And um, what we're looking at this one are uh, emotions and emotion theories. So what you're gonna do for discussion, uh, for this discussion, is you're going to explain an emotional reaction from each of the three different theories of emotion that we talked about in the textbook and the lecture. So all three, like James Lang, Cannon Bard, and Schachter Singer. So what I want you to do is to come up with like an event that happened, or you can make one up if you would like, that's totally fine. And then you're gonna describe briefly the chain of events that leads to your emotion from each of those three theories. 
feel free to be creative and have fun with this, uh, but it can be anything, right? Like my daughter was up to bat playing softball. She hit the ball and it went right at my head, right? And so from the James Lang theory, how would I explain whatever reaction I emotionally had to that um, and so on? And you're doing that from all three theories. The second question is, what are some ways that you can spot a lie? You can reference the lecture materials or your own experiences, and but be specific, right? How can you know when somebody is lying? Uh, this is definitely something I went over in the lecture video for this week. Uh, kind of fun then as a bonus, and this is totally optional, but I thought it would be kind of fun. Uh, you are welcome to watch my little two truths and a lie video. It's getting old, I should make a new one. Uh, but I tried to lie in the video to you. This, I'm not a very good liar in the slightest, but see if you can guess which one is the lie based on what you have learned this week just for fun, uh, but you're welcome to give that a shot. So don't forget to not only answer my questions, but reply to a classmate. And then the other discussion that you have for this week, oops, sorry, kicked me away up there. Discussion number six, if we click on that. As always, again, you have my instructions and my little discussion video. Um, and then this one is about human development. So you're gonna listen to two songs about being a teenager. And if you're not a big country music fan, you are gonna get your country music fix <laughs> for this discussion this week. You're listening to 15 by Taylor Swift and Letter to Me by Brad Paisley. Um, so here's the link to those songs and lyrics right here. Um, you're also going to go on a field trip to a store that sells birthday cards. This could be the grocery store, Hallmark, Target, Walmart, CVS. If you're not feeling comfortable going out and looking for cards, you can even do a Google search for this. That's totally fine. You can find them online. I'm okay with that as well. But I want you to find two cards that represent middle adulthood. So the ages of 30, 40, or 50 specifically. And then late adulthood, 60, 70, or 80, or even just aging in general. And then after you've done those two things, your field work and your songs, you're gonna answer these questions. How do the songs, 15 and Letter to Me, incorporate or demonstrate some of the cognitive, social, and physical milestones or developmental focuses of being a teenager? Give me specific examples, really incorporate lyrics and examples highlighting the chapter 11 materials. Uh, what were the general tone, messages, and focus of the cards for each age range that you looked at? What are some of the attitudes and stereotypes that you observed related to getting older or aging? And for fun, if you had to personally be stuck at one age for the rest of your life, which age would you pick and why? And I wrote down here, if you want to, uh, you are more than welcome to add pictures of your cards in here. If you go out and get them um, or look at them, feel free to take pictures and upload them. A lot of the cards related to aging are quite funny. Uh, completely optional, but it's always fun. So you're welcome to do that. And again, don't forget you're replying to me and then also to at least one of your classmates. As always, we also have an exam this week. So this week we have exam number three, which you're taking on the ebook site. And right underneath it, here's the study guide as usual. Um, and remember, if it's on the study guide, it will be on the test. If it's not on the study guide, you can let it go. So this exam covers chapters 9, 10, 11, and 12 that we're looking at this week. So make sure you know all these topics related to motivation, all these terms related to emotion, human development, and personality. And as I've mentioned a couple of times, and this is totally up to you, if it were me, I would type and write all of these things out and have it in front of me so it's organized and ready to go. If you're trying to look up the answers to everything, you're going to be very tight on time and that is intentional a little bit. Um, I do want you studying and preparing like you would for kind of a normal test, but it's wonderful to have your notes as a fallback, so please feel free um, to prepare with a study guide and hopefully you will do quite well. And some general tips like I tell you every week, try not to wait until Sunday night to take the exam, please try and take it a little bit earlier just so you don't run into internet um, kind of issues or something crashing, which inevitably seems to be the case. Um, also make sure that you've studied and you're prepared, you have a quiet place to take the exam and good internet connection. Try and set yourself up for success with all of those things so that you do as well um, as possible. And again, a lot of you are doing really good on these exams, so, uh, so keep it up. It makes me really happy to see so many of you doing so well. You also have a little brief self-assessment. This is the second one. Now that we're halfway through um, our class, what I want you to do is take a moment to consider your progress and your grade and where you're at, and then you're gonna reflect on that, um, and it's worth five 
points. Right? There's nothing more nerve-wracking. My cats are all staring behind me. <laughs> I'm like, here they're making me scared. They're all looking like behind me out the window, like something's there. <laughs> I think I've seen too many scary movies. Like I'm like, oh, I'll turn around and check. If luckily, it looks like nothing's there and we're good. If you see something sneak up behind me, someone say something <laughs> um, in the chat, right? Just uh, let me know. Um, anyway, so with this, uh, you'll hit take the survey. And then you're going to answer these questions. And again, please feel free to be honest. You know, what's one thing you're doing really well in this course? I'm currently earning the grade that I want. Uh, if you responded false, what's something you could do um, to improve? If you responded true, how are you going to maintain? In your last self-assessment, you reflected on your exam number one score and how you could make changes. Um, were you successful? What are some of the changes that you made? And then which topic, if any, are the most is the most difficult for you to understand? And again, this is just worth five points, but it's something um, that should be, you know, kind of a good opportunity for you to reflect on where you're at, what you're doing, and if it is, is working for you. Okay, the only other thing that we have this week is we do have the optional Twitch extra credit number three, which I will give you in a moment. And then, of course, I will post the recording of the live stream either later tonight or maybe even tomorrow. Um, I'll probably try and get that up tonight just since uh, we are flying all day tomorrow and I'm not sure when I would post it. Uh, I'm hoping uh, just a couple of uh, announcements for you while um, I see if you have any questions for me and then I'll give you that extra credit one. Um, please don't forget, as always, to take a moment to check that you're still subscribed. If you never did this, you still can. Um, again, it really helps me and not have to download um, and match each one of your names to your Twitch name. So thank you so much to those of you who are doing it. Uh, and it also, of course, minimizes your ads and a couple of other things like we've talked about before. So thank you, thank you, thank you for those of you who have done that. And if you haven't, it's not too late. Uh, I'm not sure about our live stream next week. So we've been doing live streams at eight o'clock on Wednesdays. I'm going to shoot for that, but I will be getting back from Hawaii that day. So there is a chance that I just make a recording and post it, but I will let you know um, next week when I send out the, the like announcement at the beginning of the week. So tentatively plan on next Wednesday, which is what, let's see here. Wednesday, which is the 14th um, at 8 o'clock p.m. And if I change it and I just end up doing a recording or maybe even moving it to Thursday, I will, of course, let you all know. Uh, are there any questions for me before I give you the Twitch extra credit question? Anything I can I can answer at all for you? Any points of confusion or anything? Um, otherwise, I'll give you the extra credit question so that you can uh, get the points for joining me tonight by answering that. I love that so many of you are doing it. That makes me happy. It's, it's definitely a nice, uh, you know, relief of some pressure, right? If you miss a couple of points somewhere. Okay. All right. So let me put the question here in the chat since it doesn't look like anyone has any questions for me. So here is the uh, week number three. Week number three. Uh, Twitch extra credit question. Great. Thank you. I'm glad everything is clear. That makes me happy to hear. I'm a very meticulous and organized person. So I'm glad that you are finding things to be clear. And yeah, oh, and thank you. Yeah, yesterday was my birthday. I'm older now, right? I feel older. <laughs> I, I definitely have had a lot of cake in the last couple of days. Um, and thank you for the well wishes on, on Hawaii as well. All right, here's the question for you. Um, the week number three Twitch question. What is the difference between intrinsic and extrinsic motivation? Define and give an example. So what is the difference between intrinsic and extrinsic motivation? Define and give an example. And if you go back to Canvas, since we're in week three, you can click right here where it says optional Twitch extra credit number three. Just click on that. And this is where you will answer that by clicking on start assignment up at the top. And then you can type your response right here in the text box and hit submit. And it'll give you that little confetti burst. And uh, Panda's riding a unicycle today. So random, right? Uh, but again, it's worth up to five points. I do grade these throughout the week. So if you get it wrong for some reason, I often will let you know so you can try again. 
Uh, and I will post the recording of this probably within the next hour or two here on Canvas. So make sure you get going on this week. Uh, and as a quick side note, and I'll talk about this more next week, I did open week number four already for you. So next week, our class officially ends on Friday night. And inevitably, at least one person will miss this. And I'm so sorry, I will remind you a million times but since our class ends on Friday night next week, um, and the week is a little bit shorter, I did open up week number four for those of you who might want to get a jump on that. So in theory, if you wanted to, you could finish everything up um, now and in the next few days. But next week when I do the live stream or recording, depending on which one, uh, I will talk about the next two discussions, the final exam, uh, your closing assignment that you have, and kind of go over all of those elements. So I just wanted to remind you that if you would like to work on week four, it is open. But for now, focus on week number three. Everything from this week is due by Sunday night at 11.59 p.m. Right, and thank you. Thank you for all the birthday wishes. That's very sweet. Thank you so much. Uh, we did an escape room yesterday at, with my kids. We took my uh, my three little kids to an escape room called Wicked Witch, and we beat it. We were a little bit over on time, like just a couple of minutes, but we beat it. And then we went bowling, and then we had cake and fajitas and all sorts of delicious things and a softball game. So it was a very... Uh, very busy day, but very nice too. So thank you. Thank you for all the birthday wishes. I hope you all are doing well and hanging in there. I will hang out for a little bit if you do have any questions for me. Otherwise, get going on the stuff from this week. And I will hope to see you all next week for our last live stream. Um, and again, I will let you know on Monday when I send out uh, that announcement just so you don't um, you know, plan for it and then I'm not there. So uh, thank you all again so much for joining me. Make sure you put your name in the chat at some point if you haven't already. And um, I'm going to minimize this, um, but if you have any questions, I will hang out for a little while and I'm happy to answer them. And thank you again so much for everyone for joining me. I really appreciate it. Thank you, you too. Bye. Have a wonderful night, a wonderful week. Thank you, you as well. Oh, I love it. Thank you. <laughs> That seems like that would be a fun place to visit. I have never been over overseas. I've been to Mexico and a couple of places in like the Yucatan Peninsula, but I have never been. Um, I've never been over to like Europe and Norway and that whole area. It looks like looks nice. I have no idea what that means, <laughs> right? <laughs>